Well, for any airport, your runway is the heart and soul. The runway at Brisbane Airport is regarded as the second busiest single runway operation in the world. On an average day, we'll handle about 650 aircraft, 60,000 passengers. Every 10 to 15 years, the runway needs a, a new asphalt surfacing. Our runway had reached the 10, 11 year mark. We also had to relocate the entire electrical network. Our aeronautical ground lighting and electrical infrastructure was 28 years old, which was well beyond its performance life. To do a major resheet, uh, well, we know we're going to be working night after night, week after week, month after month. It's about as stressful as it gets at any airport. The major challenge is the operational challenge. We have to start planning on this project probably about 18 months. We start consulting with the airlines, start consulting with the stakeholders such as air services. Some of the flights had to be rescheduled. The agreement with the airlines was to close the runway for five hours every day. This essentially means that we only had about three and a half hours of actual construction work. No one had ever undertaken to rebuild the full electrical infrastructure and overlay the runway within a five hour period. I'm nervous and excited in probably equal measures. Here we are on the first night of the project. We've got six months of hard work ahead of us, but it's nice to finally be in the construction phase. So we're about to get into the runway to set up the display threshold to commence the runway works. 7246 when ready, contact 120 dash 5. So I'm the actual work safety officer of the overlay project, so I just um, facilitate the whole project to make sure the areas are all safe, it's all compliant, the works are getting done and that the area is fod free in the morning and we give a serviceable and safe runway back to the tower each morning. Car 12, Car 12, go ahead. Car 12 can enter uh, runway 01 and circle display threshold. Car 12 and company clear down to runway 01 to initiate display threshold and could you deselect the runway lights, thanks. See you only good to go mate, come on out and start your uh, setup. So every night we'll get access to a display threshold at 11 o'clock. So that's where you shorten the runway by a pre-agreed amount. About 880 metres on this end. So the pilots need to be made aware of this so they can adjust their takeoffs and landings accordingly. We broke down the shift into 15 minute intervals and we monitored the progress of the project during the whole shift. In addition, there were a lot of challenges on the traffic management, the WHM safety on site, the quality control on site, cleanup at the end of the shift. This project is unique in the sense that if we need to make a decision or a call on site, we generally have a few minutes to make that decision. Um, it's not like a conventional project that you can go back to the office or you can refer something back to the designers in the office and get an answer later. Generally, any decision that takes longer than 10 minutes may have uh, delays or cause delays to the contractor. So um, we need to be right on top of basically everything uh, every night. We still need to come through and, and remove these triangles. They'll come back at an angle with the machines. You don't start hacking this edge? Yeah, if the edge is clean, okay. if the edge is clean, you can do that. What about the exposed asphalt? Are we tacking that? No, we don't tack anything, no, we just okay. go. Okay, so up here you see a layout of the entire runway. Tonight we're going to be doing asphalt work, taking out some lights and reinstating some. We've replaced the primary cable now around the entire runway and we've laid about 26,000 tonnes of asphalt. It's a very exciting project. Having the runway closed for a very short space of time and looking at so many work fronts, sometimes you've got 10 work fronts happening at the same time. All the cables and infrastructure that we're putting in now is, is going to last for the next 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years. So just being part of that is amazing. It's not 
exactly your normal uh, nine to five sort of business hours that everyone's accustomed to. I mean, it's night, it's dark, planes coming in and planes leaving early in the morning. You know, at the end of the day, we, we'll, we'll get it done. As complex as this job is, our main game here is to connect people. I think the reality um, is that people expect us to do this sort of work nowadays. I think the shock would have been if we hadn't been able to, which I, I suppose is one of those mixed blessings you get when you have such an excellent team. This is a project that's come in under time, under budget, no major incidents and didn't miss a beat operationally, so what more could you want? I'm really personally proud of everybody that participated in the successful delivery of this project. I'm not sure that any of us yet understand the magnitude of what we've delivered, but we're all walking around with smiles knowing that we've delivered a fantastic piece of infrastructure and we've kept the people of Brisbane safe. This couldn't have been possible without the close cooperation between the WHNS team, Earside Operations team, and the project team. It was a team BAC at its best. Uh, that's what actually made this project such a success. Now the project is behind us. It's great to get that sense of achievement, but also a sense of relief that we don't have to attempt such a complex job in such a time critical fashion next time because we'll have another runway in 2020. An airport's runway is its absolute number one asset. Almost all of your reputation relates to having that key asset always available and safe. It is a great testament to our professionalism and our commitment to quality work and safety that we were able to deliver um, this most important project so very successfully. <laughs>